Hello, my name is Andrew Bloomfield and I'm an engineering student at the University of Florida. And uh, today, I'm here to address a problem that's facing not only the United States, but the rest of the world at this point. And it's something that truly disgusts me as a human being to even have to think about, let alone try to deal with. But the crux of the issue boils down to this. What would you do if you were in an active shooter situation? What if you were able to do this? What if you were able to deploy a ballistic shield at a moment's notice to protect yourself from incoming threats in a situation of aggression? That is the goal of my Minuteman system. This system uses interlocking bullet-resistant plates to maintain a portable and concealable profile when not in use. The goal of this shield is to be modular, serving different roles in certain situations. For example, I believe that individual consumers could purchase lighter versions for portable protection or heavier larger versions to keep in the house, in the car, or from a scooter, bicycle, or any other small form of transportation. Additionally, versions of the system could be purchased in bulk by establishments to protect their patrons. I believe that these shields would be effective concealed under lecture or concert hall tables or chairs, bars, bar stools, or restaurant fixtures, as well as in restrooms, in case of an emergency. I believe that these should be treated like fire extinguishers, something that we never want to have to use, but could save lives if truly needed. Funding from this campaign is also going to try to keep this system light and affordable. Uh, current projections from calculations show that the lightest version of this at its smallest size could be around 16 to 18 pounds. That could be more or less depending on how much research and development I get to do, uh, but you know we'll see how that goes from there. Uh, additionally, the cheapest model is going to hover around probably 200 to 250 dollars. Again, current projections. You, you never know how things may change. Um, the, the point of this is that it's supposed to be modular. All of these plates are not supposed to be welded together like I've done here. Again, you know, being a college student, I don't exactly have the milling machines and tools to be able to make precise cuts and, and bolt holes and things to keep this all together with bolts. The way I intended it to, you can see that there's holes here that I originally had started out trying to do, uh, but my tools are cheap and, and didn't uh, offer me the, the freedom that I want. So the intention is that each one of these plates should be interchangeable uh, for different protection rates, uh, protections from calibers from 22 all the way up to 308. Uh, for those who aren't exactly ballistic savvy, that's from the, the smallest, not exactly the smallest, but almost the smallest rifle bullet available to one of the largest that's in use uh, today. Now, one of the things that I wanted to cover with that is how we want to make sure that these plates are resistant to regular calibers, but not resistant to bullet penetrating calibers that are uh, illegal for citizens to own, or you know, some citizens, I'm sure laws vary by state. Uh, but we want to make sure that these are not completely undefeatable, but they cannot be used in the wrong hands, especially in some sort of standoff with perhaps law enforcement. Uh, officers would be able to penetrate these if need be, if it really came down to it. But again, uh, all of these plates are supposed to be interchangeable. So you can take one out if it's too heavy, put one on if it's too light. If you're a bigger person, you can put one on with some larger dimensions, smaller, same thing goes either way. Uh, children, adolescents, adults, the elderly, I want to make a system that's completely uh, accessible by everyone and especially in, in a price range scenario. There are certain systems out there today that are similar to this. They're generally used by law enforcement. They're huge, they're heavy, they're not something that folds up and fits into a backpack. Uh, I, I don't want that for people. I, I want everyone to be able to get their hands on something like this to be able to protect themselves. That's what matters the most. I wanted to dedicate this proof of concept to the victims of the Orlando shooting. Originally when I thought of this idea, I had uh, come up with a script talking about horrible events that have happened over the last couple of years. Newtown, San Bernardino, the events in Saskatchewan, Canada, France, uh, the, the recent shootout in, in Verheim, Germany, and 
as I was writing it, another attack happened in Istanbul. And it's like these terrible things uh, keep happening before we can even catalog the events of days ago. It's terrible, and it's pathetic. I didn't want this video to be political or anything like that. I I'm truly out here to try to help people and save lives. Uh, I, I really believe that we need to start taking realistic approaches to these kinds of threats. We could talk all day about how laws would affect people. Sure, maybe some laws would make some things harder to obtain or, or certain things like that. And especially in the United States, where guns are so prevalent. We, we could talk all day about paper and, and bureaucracy, and politicians could bicker back and forth about what we could do to solve different problems. But instead of looking at real solutions to our problems, all we do is argue. Here's a real solution. Here's something that could actually stop people from getting killed. This is not to come out against guns. I'm a gun owner. Um, that would make sense for someone testing the ballistics on this, don't you think? Um, but, but people are doing terrible things with guns today. Uh, I'm, I'm for life. Not, not, you know, I'm for liberty, but I'm for life. People need to be protected. And, you know, certain places they can't do that with weapons. Weapons aren't the answer. There are 49 people dead in Orlando. And if this could have made it even 48, I think that's something that we should consider. We're human beings. We're not statistics. And we need to work to keep it that way.